Shalom brothers and sisters in Messiah, Marcus de Costa here and I wanted to to show you something which I think if you uh, have ears to hear will be a blessing unto you. Now last year, last year um, I had a bag of soil right which um, I didn't use fully so when it came to this year and I wanted to to plant some tomatoes I used the soil from last year and normally that would be fine right but for some reason for some reason when I was uh, if you can see that planting some tomato seeds as you can see by this time of year and right now it's around about uh, it's the, almost the end of August really this hasn't really done too well so that's not really done well so when I'm considering the reason why that's not done well maybe the soil that I purchased didn't keep and for some reason I put the seed in there uh, a year later or sometime later and it's not really not really doing the job so my presumption is it just wasn't good soil because the seeds are good and I can I can affirm that the seeds are good because I want to show you something else now over here what you can see on the floor is the seeds essentially have germinated in different soil but if you look really closely this is concrete see so you may be able to see some tomatoes there orange and going red all around this pretty much is tomatoes but what's interesting is that's concrete now what's essentially happened is last year we had the uh, tomatoes growing in this area here and some of those tomatoes um, some of them may as uh, may have gotten ripe and fallen to the ground may have got eaten uh, by by creatures fallen to the ground and the seeds would have gone in between the crack of the concrete and then would have essentially produced all that you can see here so all of this here is growing through the crack of the concrete and we've allowed it to grow because we've essentially known this isn't growing at all but we wanted tomatoes this year, so we've just allowed um, that to grow. Now, I'm not really talking about the tomatoes to you. I'm speaking really about the heart and about circumstances. You see, one of the challenges that men have, women have, is they can be like this tomato be unfruitful and the Bible says that there are cares of this world the deceitfulness of riches will cause you to be fruit unfruitful will cause the word to, to be choked out in your life however when you have fertile ground or well, not even fertile ground when you have fertile soil even in the circumstance where it's covered in concrete as long as the seed can reach it it will be fruitful so my encouragement to you as you can see with these tomatoes is that although there may be obstacles 
and circumstances which may make your life quite challenging. If you can get the seed of the word in your life, there is a guarantee that you'll prosper if you've got good ground. How do you make sure how do you make sure that your ground is good? Well, you remove the weeds. You remove things which will choke it. You remove distractions. You remove the cares of this world. You mortify the deeds of the flesh. And even in the circumstance where the soil is covered in concrete and there's resistance, there's obstacles, there's challenges in the way, if the seed of the word finds good ground, no matter the circumstance, you will be fruitful. And this um, is a perfect example of that. You have a place where, the, where you suspect the seed will germinate, and it did. But as you can see, there's no fruit on it at all. But in the least, in a place where you would least expect it to, to germinate, on concrete, in the smallest of cracks, surrounded by resisting forces, we're going to get a harvest. Shalom.